Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest build from Synergy. We haven't heard anything from Synergy in quite a while, but uh, as the developer Echelon just said the other day, they are not dead. They have just been taking some time to do some other things, and uh, that's totally fine, and getting back into it again. Of course, the Jelly Bean uh, versions of Synergy are still waiting on source code from Verizon or Samsung or somebody. So as of now, we're going to stay on the ice cream sandwich, but we are updated to a new base. Uh, if you go into About Phone here, we'll see that we are on now the uh, VRL HD baseband, Android 4.0.4, .4, running the stock kernel, and this is Synergy ROM, build number 74. Now, I was looking in through uh, Tapa Talk uh, over on uh, XDA, and I found a comment from the uh, developer Echelon talking about what happened and why it's been so long. Of course, he was trying to get it based on the new LG7 baseband, but it wasn't working, so he started over and actually got it to work on the LHD baseband, and uh, all the Synergy tweaks, everything's still there except for anything kernel related. As he mentioned, the uh, custom kernels are not working on the new HD baseband yet because we do not have source code for those kernels. As soon as they come out, we'll be able to build some kernels and get custom kernels working again on the new baseband. So anything kernel related, not going to happen as of now, okay? So that's from the developer Echelon. Now let's take a look at some of the features here. It is a stock ROM. It is a Samsung TouchWiz based on Android 4.0.4. .4, so not too many bells and whistles. It is quicker. It is faster. Um, but let's look at the uh, GPS here. Make sure GPS works. That's one of the things that everybody wants to make sure works. Uh, I'm inside of a building right now in a studio. You can see, boom, 9. 9 out of 16. Not too bad for being inside. So GPS is working great. Uh, Google Now is also working. It is ice cream sandwich, but there is Google Now on here. Normally that's reserved for uh, Jelly Bean, Android 4.1, but uh, there's been some hacked versions that do work on Ice Cream Sandwich, and this one's working great. It's got my traffic. It's got uh, the temperature, which is 38. It's freaking cold. I'm a South Florida boy, so that's freaking cold for me. Uh, let's see. So Google Now is working. Then we'll go to Camera and Video. Camera and Video works great. It's got all the TouchWiz options that you're going to get with the uh, with the TouchWiz camera, all the different shooting modes from the single shot, burst shot, HDR, smile shot, panorama, beauty, cartoon, all that kind of stuff. So all the good bells and whistles are there with the camera and the camcorder. I love the Samsung camera and camcorder. Uh, it's just it's just great. It's awesome. I'm moving on here. Let's uh, go back to the main menu here. If you go through the screens, you can see it is uh, pretty smooth. There's not too much stutter at all, which is definitely awesome. I have not changed my animations in developer options 2.5 yet, which I can do right now. Do, do, do. Go down here, window animation scale, put that at 0.5, transition animation, put that at 0.5, and then there you go. We got a little bit quicker menus now, or a little bit quicker home screens. If it blurs it, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, let's go to the app drawer here, and uh, of course, all your your apps are going to be in here. All your Samsung stuff is here. S memo suggest, uh, S voice. You got your video player. You got your voice recorder. All the Samsung apps are in here, but of course, all the bloat is removed, which is sweet. None of the stuff you don't want. All your widgets, everything's here as well. If you're looking for widgets, we got widgets, widgets, and more widgets. Add the widgets to your home screen. Uh, and uh, like I said, it's very smooth. Wi-Fi, 4G works. Notification menu, we'll pull that down here real quick. You can see you've got your brightness slider, which I love to have instead of having to go into settings every time. You can go into settings by using that button right there. And, of course, you've got all your different toggles across the top from Wi-Fi, which I'll turn back on here. you got your data, Bluetooth, GPS, torch, hotspot, all that stuff. Airplane mode, you can turn the sound off, you can lock the home screen, reboot it, turn it off, everything, all from your notification bar. So uh, it's a stock looking ROM, yet it works much better than stock, faster, smoother, a couple more options in it. And again, this is the latest build from Synergy. It is build number 74, and we are loving it. I'm loving it, and I can't wait to get the Jelly Bean versions out. But as for now, this is going to work great. Once again, reminder, custom kernels, they might work, but they might break some stuff as well. Uh, Echelon said that he could not get everything working as far as custom kernels are concerned so until we get source code we're on the stock kernel which is fine for me well that's all for uh, this new rom by synergy it's the build number 74 which we've been waiting for for a while totally rebased on the new vrl hd baseband and again no custom kernels at this time don't forget to check out my other rom reviews i've got a bunch of them up on my youtube page android university all one word and uh thank comment all that kind of stuff it helps out more than you know i really appreciate it and, and subscribe too have a great rest of your day this is the synergy round build number 74 for the verizon galaxy s3 my name is hobart for android university have a great day happy freaking friday